Welcome to our series of short video nuggets. This video provides an overview of the Distance 2 project, which is used in all the Fundamentals video nuggets. The project files can be downloaded from the online help. The project loads origin and destination locations from a spreadsheet, uses a website to calculate the distance between them, and updates the spreadsheet with the distance and a comment relating to the distance. At a high level, the automation starts with a main workflow that reads a spreadsheet to set up variables, calls a sub-workflow and updates the spreadsheet. The sub-workflow opens the website in a browser, enters the source and destination passed from the main workflow, invokes the calculation and passes the result back to the main workflow. Now let's dive into some detail. The main workflow starts with reading the source and destination locations from columns A and B of the second row in the spreadsheet into variables. See the fundamentals, steps and actions videos for details. The next step calls the sub workflow, passing it the variables as parameters. See the fundamentals multi workflow videos for details. The workflow then waits for the sub workflow to complete running. See the fundamentals events video for more details. The next step assigns the returned result to a variable. See the fundamentals multi-workflow videos for details. The following three steps update the spreadsheet with the distance and a comment relating to the distance. See the fundamentals steps and actions videos for a drill down on this. The sub-workflow starts with opening a browser and then waiting until the web page components have finished loading. See the fundamentals decisions video for details. The next two steps paste the origin and destination parameters into the fields on the web page and click the show button. See the fundamentals screen elements video for details. The final two steps in the sub-workflow wait until the distance has been displayed and then return the result to the main workflow. See the fundamentals multi workflows videos for more information. Thank you for watching this video. Part 2 of this video illustrates running this automation. Bye for now.